Hi, so now we're gonna look at lesson 8.8, eight, which is relate addition and subtraction. So looking at the relationship between these two, and we've already discussed in class before that um, addition and subtraction are related. They're each, they're each other's opposite operation. Um, so the opposite of addition is subtraction, and opposite of subtraction is addition. So our solvent share says, the Eat Healthy Cafe prepared 300 and 26 breakfasts and 584 lunches during one month. Some lunches were salads and the rest were sandwiches. There were 253 salad lunches. How many lunches were, sal were salad sandwiches? Solve this problem any way you choose. So, I am, they're only asking me about lunches here and lunches goes with 584. So I'm finding out how many were solved um, by the lunches. So there's 584 lunches all together and 253 of them were salads. I need to subtract and solve the subtraction equation um, to find how many sandwiches were served. So four minus three is one, eight minus five is three, and five minus two is three. So um, my answer is 331 um, for these sandwiches. So how many sandwiches were there? 331. I'm just gonna put sand because I don't wanna finish writing out the entire um, word because it'll take way too long. So how can I check my answer? I can check by using the opposite operation. So I can add 331 plus 253 to check my answer. So one plus three is four, three plus five is eight, and three plus two is five. My answer to my addition matches my number up here. So I know that my answer is correct. Okay, so I'm going to erase this. I move on down to the look back section. It says Ryan solves this problem by finding 584 minus 253. He says that 330 of the lunches were sandwiches. Is Ryan's answer correct? Show a way to check his work. So remember up above, we got our answer of 331. He says the answer is 330. And I checked my work. You all hopefully checked your work now. So you know that his answer is incorrect. So is his answer correct? No, it is, oh gosh, it is incorrect. <laughs> Use the penmanship on that. It's very hard to write using this mouse pad, I promise. Um, so, Ryan is incorrect. He is incorrect because I can add to check Ryan's work. So if I were to do 330 plus 253, 0 plus 3 is 3, 3 plus 5 is 8, and 3 plus 2 is 5. This answer does not match my number here. So I know he is wrong. He is incorrect. The sum of these two numbers that I would have added should be 584. And using his answer, it only came out to 583. Okay, moving on to the next page. The essential question for this is how can the relationship between addition and subtraction help you solve problems? So how could we know 
how can uh, we use the relationship of the two operations to solve more problems? So it says, a company has already asked 253 people the same question. How many more people need to answer the question to reach the goal? So it tells you on your uh, bar chart, the bar diagram, that 775 people is the total goal. So there are 253 people asked, and they need to find out how many more people need to be asked to reach that goal. And they show you um, the little clipboard, which it gives you the question, and it tells you their goal again. And they say that they need to figure out 253 plus what will give you 775. So they show you in box B, addition and subtraction are related. You can use an addition equation or a subtraction equation to solve this problem. So they show you that you can use this addition equation, 253 plus question mark equals 775, or you can solve 775 minus 253 to give you that question mark. Okay, it says the equations show the same whole, the same known part, and the same missing part. So the whole is in red. The same known part is in blue. And the same missing part is the question mark, which is black, but I'm gonna go under it in green because I do not have um, black as a part of my pen. So it says 522 more people must answer the question. So, Operations that undo each other are inverse operations, so opposite operations. Subtracting 253 and adding 253 are inverse operations. Add to check a subtraction problem, which they show you how to check here. The numbers match the subtraction um, equation that we would have written. Over here, you wrote over here, 775 minus 253, and it gives us 775 because we used our answer of 522. So 522 more people must answer the question. So again, inverse operations are the opposite operations. It says here that they undo each other, okay? So you can use it to check. The convince me section at the bottom says, could you still use addition or subtraction to solve the problem if the goal was 943 people instead? What equations would you use? And you don't have to solve for this bottom part. I'm just going to show you the equations that you could have used. Um, so could you still use addition or subtraction to solve the problem if the goal was a different number? Why not? Why couldn't you? So yes, you can. Mm. Just the only thing that then is changing is the same whole. So yes, you could still do it, and I'll show you the equations. So I could solve 943 minus 253 equals question mark, or 253 plus question mark equals 943. So again, I'm just showing you the two equations. It does not say you have to solve anywhere down here. I and mean, if you did, that's fine, um, good job. But if you didn't, that's okay too, because it does not say anywhere down here that you need to solve. All it asks for is the equations, and that's what I wrote down here, okay? So we're gonna move on to our last page. It says guided practice, do you understand? Number one says, how does knowing 557 minus 232 equals 325 help you solve 325 plus question mark equals 557? So, the equations are related, okay? They use the same numbers. 
the equations are related. They use 557 and 557. They use 325 and 325. We then know that our question mark in this equation is the same is, or equal to 332. So they have the same parts, which is the blue and the purple, or the, sorry, the purple. They have the same parts, which is the purple, and the same whole, which is the blue. So the equations are related. They have the same parts and the same whole. I know from the subtraction equation that the missing part here is 332. So the equations are related. They have the same parts and the same whole. I know from the subtraction equation that the missing part is 332. So for two and three, we have to add or subtract. I'm just gonna use the inverse operations to check the answer. So to solve the answer. So it all makes sense and all goes together. So for number two, my answer to this subtraction equation would be 552. And if you notice the arrows, this goes up here. So 552 goes here. And then to add these two numbers together, I would get 784. And I'm going to draw my own arrow, which goes up to here. Okay, so there, all the numbers are related. They all go together. And for number three, my answer would be 789. And I follow my arrow and copy the same number here, the 789. And then when I solve the subtraction equation, my answer is 432. And again, I'm gonna draw that other arrow to show you that this answer down here matches my um, part up here. So they all go together. Number four says, grade three students brought in 134 coupons on Friday. This brought their total up to 556 coupons. How many coupons had the students brought in before Friday? Complete the bar diagram and solve the problem. So they give us the whole, which is 556 is our whole. Our part is 134. And our unknown is the question mark. So I can write equations, an addition equation, and a subtraction equation to solve this. So I'm going to write all my equations in red, um, but just pay attention to this down here, just so you can remember what our whole is, what our part is, and what our unknown is. So my subtraction equation would be 556 minus 134 equals question mark. And my addition equation would be 134 plus question mark equals 556. So my answer, if I were to solve this, um, I'll go with my subtraction equation, so 556, 134, 6 take away 4 is 2, 5 take away 3 is 2, and 5 take away 1 is 4. So how many coupons did they have before Friday? They had 422 coupons before Friday.
So my question mark equals 422. Okay, pause it if you need to copy this work on the side. I am going to erase the board. Okay, and move down to the independent practice. So it says Geraldo's book has 634 pages. So far, he has read 379 pages. How many more pages does Geraldo need to finish, need to read to finish his book? So my whole is 634. My part is 379. And my unknown is a question mark. My subtraction equation would be 634 minus 379. And then my answer would be 255. So question mark equals 255. For number six, Nisha scored some points on a video game. Joanne scored 472 points. Together, they scored 896 points. How many points did Nisha score? So my, to my whole is 896. My part is 472. And my unknown is my question mark. My subtraction equation for this would be 896 minus 472. And my answer would then be 424. So my question mark equals 424. For this, it says to find the answer and then check um, using the inverse operation, the opposite operation. So nine minus nine is zero, six minus five is one, and three minus one is two. So I have my 210, so it would be 210 plus 159 gives me 369. Again, I'll draw those arrows in there. So this number goes here. This is the same across. And this one goes up here. Five, I'm um, for number eight. Five plus three is eight. Two plus four is six. And three plus five is eight. So my answer is 868. So it goes up here. And you have to pay attention to the operation they give you first. So in seven, they, get, they did subtraction. So I did addition to check. In eight, they give us addition. So I'm gonna be doing subtraction to check. So I'm going to subtract 543. Eight take away three is five. Six take away four is two. And eight take away five is three. So I get my um, same answer that I got up here and I'll draw those arrows again. And this one goes up there. So all of my answers um, go together. They correlate with each other, which means they relate to each other. Um, they go together, all of the numbers are, that I'm using are the same um, in all of the equations down at this bottom. Okay, um, so you've made it to the end of this video, eight, seven, have someone let me know so you can get extra points. Um, eight, sorry, this is eight, eight, my bad. You made it to the video, end of eight, eight. Um, eight, nine will be posted um, after this in a little bit. Um, so then all of the topic eight videos will have been posted. Um, if you watched all of them, that's great. You get your extra points. If you didn't, you don't get points taken off, but you don't get those extra points. 
Um, so congrats for making it to the end of this video. And I hope that this helped make more sense if this, is, if this topic and lesson was confusing to you. Okay, bye guys.